Okay, I am coming on for a minute here to talk to the veterans of the seasoned warriors of the cyber convention who were there last year who know the ropes. Uh, so I'm going to go a little faster. I'm going to pick up the gar jargon. If you are new to the site, I might lose you here because we, we call threads booths here and we call a good read groups the fairgrounds and there's two groups. It, it's complicated. Um, so I do have a beginner video for those of you who have snuck onto this going, okay, I'm new here. What's this? I'm going to stop you right here and say if you are not familiar with the way this system works and you are looking for a m deeper explanation, mm -hmm. I recommend my other uh, my other video that I've posted for beginners. So veterans, okay. Here's what's different. Uh, the first thing you've noticed is we're doing a Facebook event this year. This is for takeovers and again to touch base with uh, the Facebook audience that we missed out on last year because there's quite a few people who are not actually on good raids and we're missing out. So to increase the amount of people we reach and contact. We're also going through Facebook this year. I strongly recommend that you, in addition to your setting up your booth over at Goodreads, that you also uh, sign up for an hour of a takeover. This is global. We're talking 24 hours for three solid days. Pick a time. I don't care if it's 3 a.m., but I strongly do recommend that you assign yourself um, a takeover. I will have signups over on the event page. Um, and If you've seen the way Matt Harrell handles his held at signups, it'll be just like that. If not, you need to know Matt Harrell and get into hell dad. Why aren't you? Um, the other thing that I would like to go over is the way I'm handling the Goodreads giveaways this year, or I'm sorry, just the giveaways. And this is really where I wanted to touch base because this is probably the most different thing that I'm doing this year. And you guys are going to go in and you're going to be like, okay, I don't, I don't get this. So this is something I do need to go over. It's simple. It's much simpler. Um, there was a lot of back and forth that I noticed last year that kind of complicated things. Um, and one of them was the amount of giveaways that I received. Um, I just came off of the 50 plus book holiday giveaway and I was not expecting to get more than 50 authors coming at me saying, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll throw my book in here, which surprised me. Um, and that was on a very personal, low key scale. This is much, much bigger. So and especially with what I saw last year. So I'm expecting this to go big this year, which means if, like last year, I get bombarded again, I'm, like last year, going to lose certain books and I'm, I'm not gonna be able to keep track of it. So what I'm looking to do is simplify this process. If you are wanting to donate a book for a giveaway, we're doing the mass giveaway again, here's what you do. You're gonna go to the backstage. Okay, I'm on the right place. And you go down to, volunteers and ideas. There is a thread there called Books Wanted for Mass Giveaway. The thread is locked. That was on purpose. And basically I say, um, if you want to donate, you're going to click on the link already for your genre. So I'm donating a fantasy in this case. Um, I click on the fantasy link. It automatically takes me over to the other group, the fairgrounds where I will be listing and posting and where readers will be entering for the giveaways. You're going to reply to that exact thread and I just need uh, your author's name and your book. The genre is already there because you're under that so we're fine. Um, so just enter your author's name, your book, use the ad book author uh, hyperlink that they give you, that Goodreads gives you, and then I get notifications whenever anyone posts to this section. Um, I then go in and literally just add it to the list and because it's all right where it needs to be I don't have to go hunting between two groups. It will seriously condense a lot of middle ground for me. Um, it's completely different from last year to the point where honestly at first glance I would have gone Whoa, this is different. Where am I supposed to because it's all locked out. The reason why it's locked is because I really don't want people commenting on that because I w it, it will add a lot to my workload. So. That's the first thing that's different is the way I'm doing the give, give, uh, the giveaways. The second thing that changed drastically, um, I don't know if you remember, but last year I had um, the fairgrounds set up in both Goodreads groups. If you went to the backstage last year, there was the fairgrounds and I said, I don't know why I was an idiot, but I said, do not set up your, your thread in the fairgrounds until we're ready. Set it over here. And it started off that way, so I ended up having a lot of people adding threads, booths, prematurely, 
um, to the backstage. And when I was done, I'm like, okay, well, why, why did I do that? That's not. And then people started to catch on, and they went over to the other group, to the fairgrounds, and started setting up their threads there. So instead of offering you and telling you, yes, yeah, set it up here first, no, we're not doing that this year. So this year, if you are ready, it's now available. Uh, you can head right over to the fairgrounds. Go ahead at any time between now and April 1st. Set up your thread. I'm saying April 1st a lot. You know me. If, if you miss the deadline, I don't care. You, you go in and set it up. I really, yeah, you know me. I don't care. Um, <laughs> I, I say April 1st just because I, I, I like to have a, de I like to look professional. I'm, I'm not really. But um, go ahead, head over to the, the actual fairgrounds and set up your booth now if you want. Uh, that option is now available to you. There is still the simulator here. Uh, if somebody is feeling uncomfortable, that is available. But it's, it's just there. It's kind of a side thing. It's not the focal point anymore. Um, I have general where I just threw that because I didn't feel like I got lazy there. Uh, 2016 Getting Started gives you a basic walkthrough. We're doing more thunderclaps this year. So please, 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 please support the thunderclaps as they come in. Um, we There is no sign-up this year. That was the other massive change. There are no sign-ups. Um, I had a lot of people coming to me saying via email saying, can I sign up? And I'm like, yeah, join the group. And by the end, by April 1st, I was literally just emailing people saying, here's the link, just join the group. And here's the link that explains the introduction and how to get started. So I think by removing the sign up terminology, that should cut all of that out. So there is no sign up. Uh, you can wander in, join the group, and immediately start helping yourself to everything. This is your convention as much as it's mine. It's, you know, I'm, I'm not, I, I just point at things and say, here, put that there. That's all I do. So, um, that's another massive thing that's changed. So if there is somebody that you speak to and they say, hey, I'd like to join this, you don't have to get permission from me. Just say, yeah, come on over, here's the information. Um, so that's something I really hope we can encourage this year. The other thing that I added aside from the getting started and you know, here's the basic instructions and directions is volunteers and ideas. Um, last year I had it very, I didn't know what I was doing. I, you know I didn't know what I was doing, it was my first year. So I had it under this structure that just, it cluttered things, it was confusing. There was a lot of confusion last year. So this year, it's very simple. If you have an idea and you need people, you're gonna go into volunteers and ideas. You're gonna post, want it. This is literally, treat it like the, uh, I can't think of what it's called in the newspaper. The ads, literally treat it like Craigslist. That's what it is, it's Craigslist. Um, <laughs> But it, it goes two ways, and this is where I'm kind of, it's not going to work if we do one way with this. Um, with Craigslist, you can go in there and say, hey, does anyone have a puppy? I want to adopt a puppy. Or you have somebody over here going, I've got puppies. Does anyone want a puppy? If you go in as the businessman saying, I'm looking, I have puppies and I'm offering them for adoption, you're going to get a lot more hips and a lot more productivity than if you just blatantly make the announcement, hey, I'm looking for a puppy, does anyone have one? So in this sense, um, if you are a blogger looking to put up a blog copy, not even a blogger, if you're just an author, if, if you are looking to host your own blog tour or a blog cup through this, through this convention, that you are the person who I'm asking you, go in there and set up your wanted, I'm looking for authors, or wanted, I'm looking for this. If you are an author wanting somebody to host you, just, Sort through, the, sort through, see what you can find. And there's a lot of people, like I said, it's, it's a really good group, um, wonderful group. Like I have wanted fantasy readers. I'm looking for fantasy readers. And I kind of want to do wanted sci-fi as well because my readers also are for sci-fi. Um, so I've already had people coming to me saying, hey, I'm a fantasy author. I, I don't mind jumping on this. So, and that's, you know, the, the offers are going to be there. I know we have a lot of romance authors who came in last year. Uh, romance and fantasy were our two top, I think we had, oh my goodness, we had so many fantasy authors, but then we had a lot of romance as well. So this is not an exclusive group just for certain genres. Um, so, you know, just to give you an idea there. Um, I th that's pretty much the entire layout is the volunteers and ideas and the getting started. So instead of having like five different constructive formulas. We, I've shrunk it down to two.
for your uh, giveaways go right over. We're going to be working directly on the platform this year instead of behind the stage. That way there's a lot less transferring. And I think that's really I want to avoid is having to transfer information from point A to point B. Because with Facebook in, we're already going to be jumping between the two places. Um, I think that's it. Um, I do know that on my website I have corresponding information, so I'll be plugging that in. So um, I think that is it. Any questions, you know what to do. Contact me. Thank you again. I'm so glad you're back this year.